there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and well, here's the uh, the less perfect side of boat life. So I'm out here, uh, still getting wet but I've had to wait until a break in the weather to move the boat down a little bit. Uh, yes, you may see that I am wearing a very small women's uh, overcoat and well, getting smoke blown in your face from the chimney and like I say, this is the best rep we've had so far. But once we're there, it's a case of hopping inside, getting out of these wet clothes, hanging them over the fire, and well, we'll carry on the video. So now we're moored up again and we're back in the warm and dry. Um, got the clothes hanging up over the fire, drying off, and nice and toasty, all the usual stuff. Um, yeah, what's been going on recently? I suppose this is just another general boat life update. And you may have seen from a couple of my other videos, like going over the aqueducts, having the family come out. Uh, there's been a lot of sort of holiday stuff going on recently on board Tilly. In fact, I'm filming this at the end of a four day holiday with one of my friends. And well, it's just been a lovely time and it's been sort of, I suppose, sort of interesting to coin a phrase as well, seeing other people come on board and have the proper, ooh, we're going through the tunnel, ooh, we're over the aqueduct and all that experience sort of reminded me just how much that even though I always talk about oh yeah look at that through the window it's all good you really do sort of start to just get used to it and forget just how good it really is and well it's been quite enlightening to have a few other people on board and see their reaction to all the different elements speaking of holidays it's quite interesting now because obviously this is the first time I've been on board at this time of year to see the first holiday boat starting to come out in force and you're seeing a couple every day now certainly not the height of summer one after the other procession that goes on um, and yeah it's just it's all settling down nice to back to good old summery boat life again now obviously minus days like this so now we've sort of got through the worst of the winter hopefully and well it's all about planning the route for the summer and the cruising over the next like seven months or so before next winter mooring and like i say holidays are booked at work so i've got a very rough idea of where i want to be for those and it's well just a case of start traveling along every week or so maybe every couple of days and well see where i end up when i end up there and goodness knows if I ever end up back here in one piece. I will take this opportunity as this is only a short video really to just say a few huge thank yous. Um, I mean there's people obviously liking the Facebook page, there's people adding me on Facebook, talking to me on Twitter, there's all these incredible amount of comments coming in on YouTube. I mean it's absolutely amazing. I mean the last few days have been out of the uh, internet signal so I've got a big waiting list starting to back up in terms of comments and I think in the last three days I must have had about 60 maybe a few more comments on all sorts of questions about boat life and well it's just fantastic to see this sort of swell of general interest and well I mean the amount of people who are saying things about oh yeah thanks for the vids and planning on getting a boat myself soon and it's like it's things like that that it's like you say it's great to hear and I love knowing that people are actually finding these genuinely useful and actually learning something that might one day help them out on the canal so all the support thank you very much I mean I really can't can't explain how much it means to me after well all the fun and games of Tilly and years of making videos I've never had anything quite like this so well keep them coming <laughs> thank you very much like I say this is just a very short video and well, you've seen the videos so far, it's all ticking along nicely. The next big job is having a look underneath. Um, the hull is very, very rusty. So hopefully, once I finally do get her out of the water, it won't be too big of a job and hopefully just needs a lick of paint, a bit of sanding down. But, well, more on that in the next few months. Obviously, stay tuned to the videos and make sure you subscribe as I'll be posting a lot more in the next few weeks. And, um, well... As always, check out my other videos for a load more narrowboat stuff. And until the next time, well, have a good day and I'll see you around soon. Farewell.